بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وبعد Given the new occasion for us to now rethink our time, our schedule, our resolutions, our ideas, it's apt that we speak briefly on Surah Al-Asr, where Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala speaks of the importance of time. Wal-Asr inna al-insan la fi khusr. It's a chapter of the Quran that many of us are well aware of, the translation of which we may have read. But I want to just focus on two points here in reference to the new year of the Gregorian calendar and how that should allow us to rethink some of our decisions. The first point is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالْعَصْرِ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes an oath on time and reminds us that mankind in general, they're in loss. Lafi khusr, in al insan. The default status of mankind is that they will squander their time and they will utilize their times in ways that are not healthy for their faith. Lafi khusr. Khusr in Arabic means loss, deprivation. Lafi khusr. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us there are several categories of people who will be saved from this loss. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوا بِالصَّبْرِ There are four categories. People who have iman, people who do good deeds, people who enjoin patience, and people who enjoin the truth. When I think about this verse, subhanAllah, it makes me think of how the notion of a new year for the majority of people today is seen as a moment of festivity, seen as a moment of you know fireworks, enjoying your time, having a vacation, thinking about the great things that the new year brings. It's become a very, it's become an opportunity for celebration, less of an opportunity for reflection. And as Muslims, we reflect more than we celebrate because there's so much more to life than what we're living right now. So when we think about the options, opportunities, and things that await us in 2020, let's think of this verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, most of mankind, they're in loss. Our main goal should be when the days, as the days are coming forward, we reach every day, how can I find myself away from lafi khus, from the group that is losing, and find myself in one of the four categories of those who have iman, those who do good deeds, those who enjoy the truth, and those who enjoy patience, and how I can find myself holding on to those ideals. And the second point is, we talk about resolutions, we talk about what we want to do new, 2020, a new decade, a new opportunity, why is this going to be special? Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala, two things, one, he says regarding Surah Al-Asr, that it's such a profound surah that its guidance would have sufficed the rest of the Qur'an. Meaning if Allah revealed Surah Al-Asr and somebody contemplated over its meaning, it would have sufficed them for the guidance needed to get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second is a famous statement, uh, a proverb among the Arabs that Imam Shafi'i would reiterate that safe, illam That time is like a sword. It's very delicate, it's very sharp, and if you don't wield it properly, and if you don't hold it properly, and utilize it properly, instead of benefiting from it, you will cut yourself and harm yourself. Meaning time is very precious. If you're not going to invest that time, utilize it properly, you will find that not only will you waste that time, you will find yourself doing things that are harmful for you, counterproductive. So again, the days that are coming are very precious. Every moment we get to breathe is another opportunity to get back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And until we don't stop breathing and we see the ghaib after passing away, we have opportunities to turn back and change what we are doing wrong. And that, is, that should be our main resolution and our main goal for the days coming. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the upcoming days the most fruitful days. 
days where we connect back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reflect over our shortcomings, and seek forgiveness for whatever we have done wrong. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallah wa bihamdik, ashadu wa la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayk, jazakumullah khairan wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.